post my barbecue here. Uh, we're just out on uh, on location here, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown, a little sort of closer look at the um, the baffle system and the heat control that's in the uh, the 20 inch truck wagons that we got. So this is the flagship model. It's a 20 inch barrel horizontal and vertical. Huge amounts of capacity in this thing. Um, the first of all. So in here you can fit. Uh, you've got three grill grates. You can obviously mount one up in the top there. These models, being as big as they are, um, having the tower on them, they put in uh, this baffle system here. So what you can do is you can have this open if you want to get more heat into the main chamber, even up the temps a little bit, or you can shut it, um, and it's going to funnel all of the heat along. on this kind of it's like a your typical sort of baffle system so small small holes at the front um, and then sort of big holes as you get towards the uh, the back so that's pretty much that the fly box here again is absolutely huge this fly box well, we've got a tape measure here so you can you can see what sort of cooking capacity you've got so we're looking at here, this firebox is nearly 24 inches long with the, uh, the actual cooking depth being just slightly less than 20 inch. So that's a pretty, um, pretty sizable firebox now obviously with these because you've got such that we have having them mounted there but this is a chimney and cook chamber mounted at right level so you can see the size of the, um, the entry point there these these run really even I mean you can you can really dial them in with this um, this system that you've got here and then that will obviously feed this chamber here where you've got one two three four and then with a fifth at the bottom i'm thinking you probably put a drip tray or something on the very bottom there these again this is a 20 inch barrel um so these are getting on for 20 inch diameter you've got the rods in the top here so you can hang food from there as well and you run a run the pro smoke thermometers on the upright as well as on the um, main body of the cooker the um this is a new unit so i haven't fitted the um the intake baffle but um yeah obviously they fit on there loads of space shelving wise these shelves are probably about a quarter bigger than the shelves that you get on the standard cookers and this one's got one on the end as well i mean this cooker you could probably feed i'm thinking you could probably feed with big sort of big chunks of meat getting on for sort of 120 150 people if you you know what you're doing we're seeing a lot of people buy these for their back garden which i mean if you've got this if you've got the budget and the um and the space it's quite a treat having something like this this absolutely stunning cooker and these are all built in seven mil seven millimeter steel like all the other models that we have once they get hot they stay hot for a while and you can run really big splits in this i mean monster splits We've got a cooking day coming up where we're going to get some footage in so you can see all this stuff in action i know it's a bit been a, a bit slow going we've just been selling a lot more of these than we we thought so we haven't had the um the time to do the footage but yeah you'll be seeing these at a lot of places we've got glamping sites taking these restaurants um we'll be at the festivals with these as well so you can see see these running and uh, see, see what we're all about but this is the um, Jack, 20 
huge truck wagon, Pro Smoke Edition. Obviously, all our gear has the um, bigger firebox, upgraded thermometers, and we've also gone up stack size on everything as well, just to get a bit more flow through there. Mounted on rubber coated wheels, got your rubber casters, and a really big log rack underneath. So yeah, come and uh, pop down and check us out anytime. Oh, that was just in time. Prosmokebarbecue.co.uk